Hi Aries, this will be a reading for this week. We want to see what messages come out for Aries, regardless of what placement you have in Aries. Please keep in mind that not all messages are for everyone. So if it does not, if it does not um, apply to you, don't take it. All right, Aries. So let's see what we have here. Oh goodness. Right off the bat, we have broken heart. So Aries, someone may be dealing with a broken heart here. Let's see what else we have. Goodness, Aries. Someone's emotions may be all over the place, the way these cards just flew out all over here. All right, so we have the garden and the gate. So with, with the broken heart and the garden and the gate, someone may be recovering from a broken heart and they're a little bit hesitant to step outside of their comfort zone out of fear. You may be afraid of moving on into different areas um, when it comes to love because of what you've gone through in the past. In the picture, the, the girl is in a beautiful garden and there's a gate and she's looking outside that gate as though she's just a little nervous about what's on the other side. So I say to you, Aries, that if you're in a place where you're afraid of um, giving something else to try because you've been broken hearted, just know that you are safe. You are safe um, to love. Just be very... Um, cautious you know pay attention to red flags and whether this is pertaining to love or career this could be a situation revolving work um having to start over with work or something um just know that you're safe and you're going to be protected you have the sun card here there's abundance and happiness that is coming here for you there's a new beginning there's healing this the sun is shining on you you are um beautiful i mean you have a beautiful opportunity here i'm just looking at this picture and she's she's just beautiful she's radiant and aries you need to know that you're beautiful you're radiant you're shining and you're healing and whatever's coming towards you you don't have to be afraid to take um the steps toward a new beginning here let's see some of you may be um afraid to take steps forward um because you're not sure of how you're going to be received in a situation but just know that if one door closes for you another will open for you Aries all right so Aries you also have the fourth chakra Archangel Raphael here um, to protect you and this situation you may be in is involving a happy family situation uh, possibly a marriage you may be in a marriage or you may have been looking to get married or your your um something happened here regarding a family matter i see the storm warning here so you may have been warned regarding a situation that was um taking place here and finding out what happened uh, may have broken your heart we also have attachment here so there may be some type of unhealthy attachment um, to you or someone or someone in your family. What else do we have here, Aries? We also have first chakra Archangel Michael here to protect you. So Aries, know that you are you are protected. Um, you may be a bit fearful. You may be a bit uncertain about new beginnings, but. Everything is going to work out for you regarding this uh, family situation. Yeah, indecision is here. Yeah, you're a bit undecisive about something. And it feels like it's got to do with like a new beginning with um in a family situation. Maybe you have some type of unhealthy attachments to someone that you want to be, um, you want healing from first. You're concerned that things are just not going to work out the way you um hoped it would let's see let's get a little bit more for aries what else do we have for aries here please keep in mind this is a general reading here what more do we have for aries yeah there's a door to romance and there's a contract could be a legal uh, binding marriage contract and then you also have yin and yang. 
So, Aries, I feel like um, for some of you, you are indecisive about um, a romantic situation. Maybe, maybe you're nervous about um, taking a relationship to another level here. You do have yin and yang, so I mean, it could possibly be a very strong connection with someone, but you may be uncertain about um, what the outcome is going to be here. So the door to romance is open for you. Like I said, if you have experienced heartbreak in the past, you do not have to fear that now, Aries, because you are being protected in this, in this matter. Anything else for Aries? You have strategy. So you may be strategizing, you may be looking at um, different options that are available to you. But just know that you are protected. You have Archangel Met Metatron here as well. Okay, so Aries, we're going to move on into your actual love reading um, portion and see what, in what more messages come out for you. All right, what do we have for Aries? And Aries, I also want you to know I will be doing another video for you. It will upload very soon. We want to see what's coming towards you. Um, so be on the lookout for that video as well. So Aries, what do we have for Aries when it comes to romance? What is it that Aries needs to know? What is it that Aries needs to see here? You have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So Aries, if you've been afraid of this new beginning or this new opportunity, you're being told to give your relationship a chance here. And you also have true love here. This is a romance, the romance of a lifetime. What else do we have for Aries? Aries. Finance and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So Aries, you may be going through some type of disappointment when it comes to your finances. And this may be the reason why you're a bit hesitant of making um, making moves when it, in your relationship. But just know you should give your relationship a chance. Maybe that's something that you can discuss with the partner. Or just know that things will turn around for you even in the area of finance. You have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So, Aries, you're clearly dealing with some type of a heartbreak from the past. Something that was disappointing for you and you're, you may be still holding on to it and it's affecting your um, forward movement. So, you want to learn to forgive. Forgive those from the past as you have learned the lessons um, that you need to learn. You can move forward knowing that you are safe. You're protected now. You do not have to worry about repeating this cycle again as long as you take into consideration all the things that you've already been through and the lessons that you've learned from these things already. Like, what else do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? We have wedding. This situation involves marriage. So Aries, you may be in a marriage already in which there are things um, not work, not going in the direction that you expected. Or you may be looking to get married. You know, I'm speaking to different people so you know your situation. And finances may be affecting your marriage right now. But just know your situation is going to turn around. You're learning the lessons that you need to learn and you're healing from the things of the past. Some of you are calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visual visualizations help bring you together. So some of you are calling in a soulmate. You're calling in true love. And when that person um, manifests, you want to give yourself the, um, the chance to act true love because this is something that you are manifesting. You don't want to manifest it and then have it um, destroyed or sabotaged out of fear. And you have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And for those of you that are currently married or in some type of a long-term commitment and it may be a bit rocky right now, you need to stay optimistic about it. Give that relationship a chance as much as you can. Um, work on it. Um, if there are issues you know, revolving around fear and trust, you want to work on those things, especially 
if they're stemming from your past you want to heal from your past you have heart-to-heart -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other yeah just talk have a conversation with one another about the things that are bothering you the things that are keeping the relationship stagnant instead of allowing it to just fall apart now for some of you you may move on to something else and true love is waiting for you so you know your situation you know exactly um you know what what may be best for you and then you have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so as we're approaching thanksgiving many of you may need to take some time together and just enjoy your relationship enjoy your marriage enjoy your new true love enjoy um family just enjoy the moment uh, things have been pretty hectic over the last year or two and it may have caused a strain on many relationships even you know your relationship so just talk it over spend some time together you may not have the finances the way you want it right now but there are things that you can do with one another that don't require so much aries so aries i'm gonna just pull from a little bit of advice for you before we get out of here we have love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you so aries whatever may have had you feeling down may have had you very indecisive um you may want to focus on loving yourself work on the things that you need to work on for you and everything else when it comes to love is going to fall into place because self-love is the most important love and that is what draws people to you so aries this has been your messages for this week uh, please keep in mind there will be another video for you guys please like share comment um, and I will see you on the next reading.